Hello and welcome. Get ready, it's time for Saturday Night Football. Sweltering weather for this match is really going to sap the players' energy. Rotations, I guess, will be the key. With me is a legend of the game, Matthew Richardson. All right, Dan, as always, it's a pleasure to call the match with you. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. Umpire tosses the coin. Sydney kicking to the left of screen. Both teams have the top eight in their sights. Just waiting for the opening siren now. Here we go. It's Sydney versus the Dockers. Sandlin's onto the ball. Wilson with the interception. All eyes are watching. Every footballer scores better when he actually learns his capabilities. Fremantle by a point. Mills will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 35 metres out. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Fremantle get a goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Sandlin's punches. And we have a ball up. Tapped. By Sandilands, Parker gathers. That doesn't look too good. He must be injured. Richo, what does it look like to you? Parker has got a really good pain tolerance, but gee, that looks nasty. Pierce marks it. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. Pierce, let's fly with a shot at goal. Pierce sinks it from a long way out. He sinks his first goal. That's two in a row for the Dockers. Sydney already trailing by an uncomfortable margin. Sandlins, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. A short handball, trims the grass with that one. Intercepted by Walters, lovely hand pass, hits the man. Ball up on the outer side wing. Puts boot to ball. It gets tapped, he picks it up cleanly. Hewitt gets the ball, he slams that on the boot. Good hand skills there. Hanabry with the interception, puts boot to ball. Gray with good strong hands. Sends it on its way. Kennedy was surrounded. He needed to mark it and he did. Takes that one strongly. Chip kick along the way. A nice running mark. Choose to kick it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 60 meters out. Kennedy going for number one. Great mark under pressure. Sinclair lining up. 15 meters out. The ball is hammered towards goal by Sinclair. The Swans on the scoreboard now. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Good tap from Sandilands. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Naismith with the mighty fist. Langdon. One out in the square. Nice mark there. Walters will take every opportunity to take a screamer when a step ladder presents itself. Wilson takes a shot. Wilson kicks it straight through the big sticks. The Dockers lead. All is in readiness. Bounce is dead straight. Sandlin knocks it down the field. He gains possession. Bettle with the tap. He can't be caught. Kennedy was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. He's got the footy in his hands. 
Nice contested mark by Towers. The Swans haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Lloyd kicks the ball. Jack knocks it down. Ballantyne gets onto the ball. He gets the ball. Sending it on its way. Heaney marks it. He gives the ball a mighty roost. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. A chance to add one more to his tally. Nice kick. Sinclair gets number two. The Swans will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. A dead straight bounce. Tabernet knocks it down the field. Hanabry with the mighty fist. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Matera. Certainly that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. A powerful kick from Wilson. Rampy has so much potential. He could just be anything. The mark will be paid. Passes by hand. He's blocked it. Kennedy plays it off to the man on the run. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Heaney kicks the ball. Spur takes the mark. Spur sends one up towards the wing. And the mark will be paid. Kicks it across the ground. Nice mark under pressure. Bumps the big skin. A solid mark from Canterbury. Kicks. Nice work from Rowan. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Sydney trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. Pierce has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He gets boot to the ball. Spur takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Ballantyne with the mark. He kicks it long. Tabernak with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. It's been intercepted by the opposition. A short handball. Handballs from the tackle. Jack with the running catch. Jams it on the boot now. Haywood presents and takes the mark. A chance to level the scores right now. Spur collects it. He's read that well. Gets the ball. Hastily kicked. He passes the ball. He's read that well. He's got it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Heaney sinking his first goal. Heaney seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. The ball is bounced. Sinclair. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Kennedy with the ball. He hits it. He gets his hands on the footy. Franklin gets a fist to it. It gets tapped. Kennedy shoots for goal. Reed goes for goal. The Swans get the goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here's the bounce. Sinclair got a fist on it. He gains possession. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 29 and 21. In the siren sounds for the second quarter. Winners don't wait for chances, they take them. Clean tap by Naismith. The ball in the hands of Sandilands. Kennedy swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Spurk should be embarrassed by that. Heaney decisively. The ball in the hands of Papley. Pierce with the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Takes that one strongly. Choose to kick it. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Spurk the better man there. Spurk can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. That's a nice strong mark. Gray puts his boot on it. He drops the mark. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Lloyd cuts off the ball. Dishes it off to the running player. Hewitt drops the ball. It gets tapped. He picked it up off the ground. Franklin dodging just for the fun of it. Oh, he shrugs off the tackle. Gets a handball to the running man. He gets the upper hand. Slams it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Haywood just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Probing kick inside the 50. 
Rahimi decisively. Bill collects. Kicks. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Sutcliffe. He's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. That's a mark. Tucker marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Boyd sends one up towards the wing. Nice mark there. Hastily kicked. A nice running mark. Walters sends the ball on its way. Kennedy with the mark. Chip kick along the wing. A solid mark from Hewer. Choose to kick it. A solid mark from Haywood. 40 minutes from home. Going for goal number one. Chalk up a goal for Sydney. That's three in a row for Sydney. The Swans leading two goals the difference. Umpire bounces the ball. Naismith gets onto the ball. Was that a throw? I think it was. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Heaney controls it. The ball heads out of bounds. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Has it now. Reed with the running catch. The Swans by three goals. The Swans cords are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Sydney midfielders have had complete faith in their forwards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. Hewitt with the ball, marked by Franklin. 50 metres out, he's kicking from a 45 degree angle. It's in the air. That was a long kick for goal. Franklin getting his first right there. That's five in a row for Sydney. Sydney by four goals. Franklin has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Boyd doesn't waste that opportunity. Moves it quickly by hand. Parker feeds it wide. Johnson grabs that one. Fremantle haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He slams that on the boot. Wilson with good strong hands. He slams that on the boot. He marks the ball. Fix it. Valentine, the better man there. Nice bit of power then. Matera marks the ball. Hastily kicked. Marks. Rampy kicks. Nice mark there. The Dockers haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He gets boot to the ball. A nice contested mark. Matera kicks the ball. Bennell marks it. 45 metres out. A chance to add one more to his tally. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. The dock is a still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams blow more leads than Inspector Clouseau. Mills with a low spearing kick. A lovely drop punt. Towers up. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. Annabrick with a low spearing kick. Spilled by Naismith. Gray controls. Heaney with a big tackle that spills the ball loose. Sandlin's feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Handballs. Intercepted. Hand passes. Spurk bumped off the ball. Superb handball. Jack intercepts it. It's going. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. Jack sinking his first goal. Jack is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. A desperate kick there. Neil decisively. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Shot by Wilson. Wilson scores with a beautiful kick. The Dockers are really under the gun here. Fremantle need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. Naismith with first hands to the ball. Collected by Langdon. Jams it on the boot. Wow, some of his heads border on felonious assault. Bounces favorably for Gray. Is in his possession. Gives it to Towers. Big man does nicely. Jack picks it up. Now that's just giving the ball away. Sandlins gets the upper hand. Sandlins feeds it wide. Takes it well. Rampy boots it. Materic enjoying a height advantage. Bumps the big skin. Langdon claims the ball. Kicks. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the players performed. The Dockers are far behind on the scoreboard, but a neck and neck 
with Sydney in the stats. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. Two quarters down and only two to go. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Wilson taps it, gets the loose ball. He's got the football now. Spurk claims the ball. Spurk sends one up towards the wing. A great effort. Kicked in a flurry. Langdon gets the upper hand. And the ball crosses over the boundary. It looks like the umpire has decided it's a boundary throw-in. Naismith aims for his man on the ground. Deft touch from Matera. Guided by Neal. Deft touch from Wilson. Clean tap by Sheridan. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Intercepted. Ballantyne kicks. Bennell grabs that one. 60 metres out. Going for goal number two. He holds his breath. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. This game almost out of reach for the Dockers. Mills is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. He slams that on the boot. He climbs the ball. Lloyd kicks it. The ball gets smothered. Lloyd collects it. He knocks it down. Sheridan with the mark. He slams that on the boot. Hanabry takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Matera, the better man there. Matera has so much potential, he could just be anything. He grabs it. Bennell getting into position for the kick. Sending it on its way. Wilson with real good use of the body. Sending it on its way. That's a nice strong mark. 45 metres out. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Jams it on the boot now. Walters with the mark. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Pierce executes the goal well. That's two now. He's playing well. Momentum shifting back their way now. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Naismith looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Hastily kicked. Valentine intercepts the bouncing ball. Kennedy on the ball at the moment. Heaney was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Perfect kick. The Swans lead Fremantle by 22. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Naismith without a touch. The clearance by Sandilands. A rushed kick. Tucker shocks the ball away. Walters manages to get the handball out of the pack. He runs into the goal. It's kicks like that when players find out this really is a game of centimetres. They really needed a goal there. Mills can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Aaliyah kicks it. McVeigh drops it. Pierce kicks it. He gets the behind. The Dockers trails Sydney. Mills waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Straight down the field. Valentine taps. Gains possession. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Neil watching with anticipation. The huge kick makes it to the goals. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlin should have just handed it to Kennedy. Lovely hand pass. Hits the man. Neil puts it on the boot. The contest, no match for him. Sandilands delivers the ball forward. A mark by Pierce. 45 metres out. Works it across the ground. Bennell has it. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. Goal number two for Bennell. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And there's the bounce. Tapped by Sandilands. He smashes and bashes in. Langdon taps it. Hanabry looking like a Manchester United player. He gains possession. Parker is streaming past and gets the footy. Give him a wrap and they'll let you down every time. A real letdown there, Dan.
He has a few options. Takes that one strongly. 45 metres out. Goes up the line. Hayward presents and takes the mark. 35 metres out. Couldn't ask for much better than this. It's an easy shot here. A goal for the Swans. Sydney by 15 points. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce. Punched by Sandilands. Gains possession. He gives the ball away. Sinclair throws the ball. Free kick. Kicked by Langdon. Marks. Towers can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Slips through his fingers. He taps it. Franklin with a clean pickup. It's through for a point. Sydney have the advantage on the scoreboard over Fremantle. You look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Johnson with the mark. Boots it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. You'll need a long-range boomer from here. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 40 minutes from home. Heaney drives the ball towards goal. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. This kick stretches the lead. Heaney has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Neil decisively. A clean pickup. Clean tap by Canterbury. Pass by Grundy. Kicks. And the mark will be paid. Kennedy is a Rolls Royce of a player who has the ability to read the play like no other. Hayward takes a shot. Misses for a behind. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Hewitt. Tapped by Hayward. Does well to keep it in play. Pierce passes it. Sutcliffe is starting to get a lot of the football. Marked by Ballantyne. Kicks hurriedly. Neil takes the mark uncontested. Gets boot to high. Time to take a look at the stats. The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with three. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. After each game, I always wanted to be able to say, I gave all I could. I gave it my best. Valentine just squeezes the kick out. Sandilands gets the hand pass. It's like he has the ball on a string. It's boot to leather, taken by Sandilands. Sandilands one out in the square. Wilson with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Pierce claims it. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 45 metres out. Going for goal number three. Pierce with a great kick. The dock is just starting to drop the high. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by Sandilands is in his possession. Approaching the goals now. He kicks it, gun barrel straight. That's two now. He's playing well. Two goals can bring this back for Fremantle. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Deft touch from Sandilands. Tapped by Lloyd. Naismith gets the ball. Footy is like a chain. You always have to work on the weakest links. Kennedy collects. He's had lots of touches this match. Goal to Sydney. Sydney by 17. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Lloyd comes away with the ball. Is in his possession. We'll have another ball up. Naismith taps it. Kicks hurriedly. Guided by Sheridan. Wilson with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Naismith without a touch. The clearance by Sandilands is in his possession. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Goes short with a hand pass has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. Kicks it. Nice mark under pressure. Rowan is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Kennedy slams the ball to his boot. Matera handballs it. Langdon kicks it. Sheridan having no trouble taking that one. Gets boot to leather. Valentine has it. 
bumps the pigskin. Wilson has it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Too far out to score, surely. Bumps the pigskin. Nice mark there. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Wilson going for number three. The goal for the Dockers. The Dockers won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sanderlands is superb with his ruck work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. Hewitt just wanted it more then. He slams that on the boot. Franklin with great hands. Going for goal number three. Oh, that was a brave shot. Good goal. Franklin makes the hat trick. Sydney with a handy break, leading Fremantle 82 to 65. The bounce is dead straight. Cleared by Sandilands. Bounces favorably for Lloyd. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. McCarthy tries his luck along the ground. He soccers it. Parkick manages to get the handball out of the pack. Nice mark under pressure. Towers has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Hayward puts his boot on it. Papley with the mark. Papley goes for home. Papley sinks the long kick. The Swans lead Fremantle. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Great bounce. Sandlins really gets onto this one. Clean pick up by Lloyd. The ball in the hands of Rowan. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Gray wins the marking contest. Kicks. He wins the contest. That's a piercing kick from Parker. Gets boot to high. Johnson presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. Takes it well. Kennedy puts it on the boot. He gets it above the crowd. Heaney will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. 35 meters out. Looking for another goal here. What a great goal by Franklin. Four goals and he's got it on a string. Sydney in front. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Sinclair, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Strong mark by Hewitt. Jams it on the boot now. Mark by Haywood. Haywood. It's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Heaney getting into position for the kick. He slams that on the boot. Slips through his fingers. Franklin with the interception. Puts boot to ball. Gets the distance. Reed for the second goal. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Palms it down nicely. Spur tries his luck along the ground. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The Ruckman battle it out. Clean tap by Sandilands. Sinclair there to mop it up. Tap by Mills. McVeigh tries his luck along the ground. Pierce delivers a nice bump for Aaliyah. McVeigh decisively bumps the pigskin. Nice hands. Walters has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Ballantyne needs to get this, otherwise it's going to be harder and harder for them to come back. Mills would like to think he hits all his targets, and for the most part, he does that. McVeigh with the kick. Strong mark there. He gets boot to the ball. Smith picks it up. The ball is tapped. He handballs it. Towers is bumped off the ball. Puts boot to ball. Ballantyne taps the ball. He lays off the pass. McCarthy has to get this goal. McCarthy sinks the long kick. What a game and what a comeback. It kept me biting my nails right till the last minute. Richo, any last minute thoughts? I can tell you one thing, the Swans stuck to their game plan and played this game on their terms and you can clearly see how much this win means to them.
Final scores are 100 to 72.